what is some of your favorite things about October for the collaboration coffee, tea, or today I am drinking out of the little mug that my kids got me for my birthday with Tinkerbell on it, the Peter Pan uh, addition to the classic animated Disney cups. This is one of my favorite things about October is that it cools down here in California finally. Um, when it cools down we can drink a lot more hot things. Today I have coffee in my cup. I could have coffee. I could have tea. You know you never know what I'm going to be having. If I'm not dieting I drink a lot of apple cider and I put and now this is you know actually if you're on keto you would probably enjoy this. Okay, so get a sugar-free apple cider mix that you just dump the little thing in and put a tablespoon of butter in it just like you do your bulletproof coffee. And um, you probably could do your cream as well. But um, just instead of it just being apple cider, sorry my back is hurting, um, use a sugar-free apple cider and um, and then blend it up in your bullet or however you blend it up. Oh. Now normally, and I've not seen this in the stores, I would put um, brown sugar in it. Um, so for sugar-free, unless they make a sugar-free brown sugar, I would maybe use one of the sugar-free syrups that is either in toffee or um, butterscotch maybe just a little bit of that in there in your apple cider and you have a wonderful way to have your bulletproof coffee that isn't coffee that is more of a fall scent and I do that every season um, every time it's a fall season I have apple cider on hand and um, I put butter in it and so this particular year you could put butter and heavy cream and today we're going to talk about my favorite things about October and I already shared that one of my favorite things is the weather um, I love when it cools down and it gets that crisp morning air when it is crisp in the mornings I love that I love to spend time outside when everything is falling and is a mess that drives everybody else crazy. I love that. I love, I love that. Um, I love the colors about for fall. I love, 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 love um, orange, yellow, uh, burgundy, um, maybe some, a little bit of blues thrown in there. Um, I just love the colors of fall. Uh, if you watched my video that I put up of my birthday haul, I'm not sure it's up yet, but um, if it's up and I showed the photo of what I asked for with my hair, um, that's a perfect example of colors that I love. Uh, I love, I love colors like Yeah, I love um, nail polish, which I don't have it in here with me, but um, dark berries, chocolate. Um, I'm in the middle of doing my nails right now. I just have the base coat on right now. So later today, I'll have a dark, dark berry color on. Um, so for my next video, that'll be on. Um, I love that the kids are back in school. And, um, you know, when you're driving around town you see everybody out wanting to get their kids and they're walking home and it's windy and the leaves are falling I I just love that I love all of that um, of course I am going to love now fall for um, my little baby because she gonna have all these new little outfits uh, every year um, for fall and her birthday is this month October 24th so um, that's another reason for me to love October because I love October and I love my little baby she's so precious she kind of ornery but she precious <laughs> I love her and so her birthday is this month that's in itself reason alone for me to be happy about October 
Um, so I like to shop more in October. I don't really care to go shopping June, July, August, even into September, even though it's my birthday month. Um, that's a reason for me to really love September shopping, but, um, I don't really enjoy shopping in September because it's not really cool enough for me. And of course that gets into probably, you know, part of our weight issue. You know, if I was smaller, I probably wouldn't hate it so adversely, but I do not like to go shopping in July and August at all. Gina does not like it. Gina just sits at home and shop on the computer because I don't like the heat. Um, so I love to do shopping in the fall. I like to be completely done with Christmas shopping by, think, by uh, Halloween. I like to be completely done. Don't want to have to think one more thing about things that I have to buy for Christmas after Halloween. In saying that, I don't think I'm going to make it this year. I really don't because I haven't, I've only just bought two, I think about two things. Um, so unless I really get my butt in gear, uh, it might fall more into uh, between then and maybe the first two weeks of November. I never, ever get past um, Thanksgiving. I do not go shopping unlike my sisters. And even my husband really likes to do it. Uh, I do not Black Friday shop. I do not Black Friday shop. I hate it. I went a couple of times with my cousin Jessica back in the day. And when I'm in Arkansas, I will go with my sisters for the fun of being with my sisters and that I'm on vacation. But Gina does not like that crappy 50 million people rummaging for the same $10 off deal that you can get online. If you don't all know that, you can get those same exact deals online. So why would you go rummaging and standing in the lines? I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. I don't like that. Um, so let's get off of that and back onto things that I love about October. I love stew. And it is too warm to make it before October. Even though I did make a stew in the past month. I made it once. I love to make a stew, a beef, a good beef vegetable stew. And I will eat that for lunch for a week. It doesn't bother me at all. My husband will eat it once or twice tops. Um, I love a good vegetable stew. I like cornbread with it. So unless we got some way to make cornbread without gluten and flour and all that stuff in it, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and even like the potatoes. I can't put the potato, you know, shouldn't be putting the potatoes in it, even though I probably will because my husband would like them. You know, I have to pick through it and not really eat the potatoes because of the starch. Uh, but I love all warm uh, cream of broccoli soups. Um, you know, oh, I love to make chicken enchilada soup. I can make soup exactly like chilies. It tastes exactly, exactly, exactly to the tea like chilies. Um, chicken enchilada soup, love that. You know, if you're if you're doing keto, you cannot have that either. So I'm gonna have to pick new things that I love this year. Um, uh, for my diet, um, which we'll talk about at another time health reasons I've got I've got some things that I'm doing um, but that's another video and um, another thing that I love about October usually it's the month that the time changes well always isn't it I just like it when it gets dark early I um, it's just cozier for me I know the nights are long and people don't like it. They don't care for it. I love a good long evening. Now, I get off work at 2 o'clock. I don't work on Fridays. 
you know, I'm home a lot. My husband is out till he gets, doesn't get off till 430. I'm sure he does not have the same feelings about it as I do. But I love that about October. It's whenever the nights start getting really long. And because in his mind, he starts his day in the dark and he ends his day in the dark. That's not fun. That's not fun for people like that. But I, you know, I don't have those same hours. I only work 20 hours a week and Unless I'm out of school working uh, as a sub at the schools for the day, I, I work, you know, I'm home by 2. I love that. So anyways, or 2.30, whatever. Uh, so there's that. I love, and I just talked about this in another video, but I love these type scents in my scentsies or in my, you know, wax burners. They're not all scentsies. I do have some scentsies. This is my... Uh, one that I'm burning right now. It's not my absolute favorite. This one is my absolute all-time favorite smelling scent to burn, period, any time of year, but in the fall. Um, so I love to burn candles and have my house to smell good and decorate. Oh, love to decorate. Did I talk about decorating? I don't know. I might have to edit this back out. My husband will not allow me to decorate until October 1st for a reason. He has a reason. Um, his reason is that I would decorate for fall in August because that's when you start seeing it. You know, that's when it starts coming out. That's whenever everybody sees it in the store. So that's when Gina wants to decorate. Well, the problem with that is by the end of October, Gina's done with it. Gina is irritated with all the crap in the house. Because see that back there? Yeah, Gina's done with that. I made that all cute for you guys to have something to cute to look at um, in my new backdrop. And it is too much for me. It's coming down. And all the harvest stuff will come up, which of course will probably be a lot of stuff again, but it'll be new stuff. So I'll have that. And if he, the reason why he's like, he has this steadfast rule. October first is the very first time that he'll even let me think about decorating for harvest and I haven't done it yet and we are on the 8th 9th October 9th I don't know somewhere around there 8th 9th 10th I don't even know somewhere in there um and I haven't done it yet so um I'm behind but that's all right because that way I won't have a problem with keeping it up until Thanksgiving because there's been years that I'm like by before Thanksgiving even gets here I'm like I gotta get this crap out of here let's put the Christmas stuff up or we'll take it all down and there's nothing in the house until you have decorate for Christmas I would rather take the harvest down and the Christmas up and you're only moving it once instead of twice um, because I decorate seasonally I, I change my house around um, every season with new pictures on the walls and new decorations on the walls and color schemes and every room in the house and bah, it's crazy. Um, so there's that. All the reasons that I love October. Number one reason, my little baby Carter. And I, I don't have permission from her parents to put photos of her on here, or I would. And, and they put her on social media all the time. If you follow me on Facebook, you've seen her. She's on there. But I, I'm just not comfortable with that, with her on here uh, without speaking to them first. But she is beautiful. She is a beauty, and I love her. And her name's Carter. Carter Eva. My mother's name was Eva, and they named her after my mother. Um, my mother is in uh, that picture back there. Um, let me show you my parents. They have both passed on. And um, moved on to be with the Lord. That is my mom and dad. And my mom was very tiny. Well, so was my dad. My dad was 5'7". My mom was pushing it to say she was 5'2", I think. But, oh, my lands. Um, I would say she, soaking wet, weighed, I don't know. Nothing. 103, maybe. 
she uh, toggled between a size three and a size five most of her life. She's very tiny, very, very tiny. There was one point in life where she got on. <laughs> I can't believe I thought of this um, because it was the it was this time of year. It was in the in the fall. She got on a Taco Bell Nacho Bell Grande kick. And she started eating Nacho Bell Grandes every day. Every day she would eat a Nacho Bell Grande. And that girl w gained up to like 115 and her rear got twice the size. And <laughs> so funny. She thought she was like a cow and she was in like a size six. <laughs> so funny. But when she gained weight, it went straight to her hind end. And I don't have a big rear. I have a big upper body and stomachy area. I'm more of my dad's side of the family as far as the way my body structure is. But my mom was very tiny, very petite, very beautiful. Could hold her own in a bikini when she was 55. I mean, she had the body. She didn't have one girl that wore a bikini. Not one of us. We would not have one of us even attempt to wear a bikini. So there's that. But anyways, we are way long. I'll have to edit some of this out. I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. God bless. And this is going to be some of it that I have to edit out because I can't find the way to turn it off. <laughs>